Hello, everybody. Welcome to my video. My name is Sandra. Today, we're going to take a look at some of my most recent eBay sales. I have been very bad at posting eBay items lately, and eBay hates that. I have 10-day handling on a lot of stuff. They don't like that either, but I've been traveling a lot. Life is crazy, all good stuff, but this is only a part-time job for me. eBay does require food and water and quite a bit of it. I have not been able to do that. So I think that my sales suffer from that really quite a bit. I am going to try to get to putting more stuff on my page, which is the Funky Pickle Store. By the way, if you've never been here before, thank you so much for coming today and welcome. And if you have been here before, welcome back. I would like to thank anybody who bought any of these items from me. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it very much. I do have lots and lots of wonderful friends of my YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Like this video. Let me know what you think below. I hope this video helps you out if you are a reseller and you get some great ideas on things you can also flip for a profit. Ready, set, go. Let's do it. So first up, I bought a huge collection of SPI brass items at, at a garage sale. I think last fall, this woman's brother was a salesperson. I don't know if he worked for SPI or for a gift shop or some sort of distribution place, not sure. But I got lots and lots of doorbells and all kinds of great stuff and a huge collection of door knockers. And the beauty of it is that all of these items were new and still sealed. So here's a seashell door knocker that I sold. I did take a best offer on this of $20, completely in the profit on this garage sale. I think it's $1,700 in the profit. I looked it up the other day. I think it's something like that. So this is pure profit. Sold this very cool solid brass shell door knocker for 20. Some people might remember this Limoges trinket box. This was part of a recent antique auction haul. This came in a lot of jewelry. I did see a lot of Limoges trinket boxes that were shaped like a heart, but I didn't see any that said happy birthday. That is actually darling. It's porcelain. It's hand painted. There it is. It's signed. Isn't that cute? I love this item. Now, I have been going to auctions a lot. I have not recouped my money on most of the lots I've been getting lately. I do have to really get on that. So I'm not in the profit for sure on that lot. But here's a little bit of a start. Sold this Limoges trinket box for 30 Last year, I was at an auction and they had a pretty nice lot of paper dolls. These items were part of that lot. They're kind of paper dolls. I guess you cut them out and they could stand up. These are from 1905. These were a supplement to the Boston Globe. So how rare must these be? Because, of course, people would usually read a newspaper and throw it out. And this is just very thin cardboard. So it is amazing that the condition on these was so excellent. They're cool, though. Those would look awesome framed. I'm sure people collect these. I have other ones too. I do have to get around to putting them up, but I, I have others listed, I think. I love these. I think they're very interesting. Kind of amazing too that a little kid never cut them yet. They are uncut. Sold all four of those for $50. I am in the profit on that paper doll lot, so pure profit. I think I got this tie clip as part of an auction haul. This is by Anson. That's a very popular men's accessories company. I love this. It's not only just a horse. And I do like to buy jewelry and men's accessories that feature horses. People do collect them. It's not only that. It's also that it has the jockey on it. I, I love it. I think this is an awesome item. Look at that. Beautiful detailing. I took a best offer on this item, I think. $15 is what I sold this item for, not in the profit, because it did come from one of those auction lots. Look at this stunning necklace. How beautiful is this? This is sterling silver. Now, I bought this at a yard sale a long time ago, though this was part of my personal collection. I only wore it a couple times. 
which is why I thought it would be a good idea to sell it, let somebody else enjoy it. I'm sure I didn't pay more than two or three dollars for it. Look how thick it is. Isn't that nice? Now, there is a lot of tarnish on here. I kind of do have a no, um, no rubbing tarnish off jewelry rule around here. I think that some people really do enjoy tarnish. I do personally, but this one was tarnished so badly. I did just lightly rub it because it looked dirty. That's why. But there is still plenty of tarnish on it. And I'm sure I disclosed that in the description that it, it needed to be polished if the person wanted to. Paid a couple dollars for this years ago. Sold it for 80. I bought several pair of these gloves at a local thrift store. I paid $2 a pair. Um, I didn't really know what they were, but they looked high quality. And they're goalie gloves, I found out, I guess. They're made of latex. I was getting a lot of questions on these. I really don't know a thing about them. Somebody asked if they had um, like plastic finger protectors, like hard plastic in there. And I, I was getting a lot of questions on them. They don't. So paid $2 for these. I did accept a best offer of $20. Not bad. Paid two. And I have more to sell as well. And it'll be easy because I just have to relist them. I'm not a craft person. I don't know how to crochet or knit or sew or anything. But I do enjoy selling craft items. So I was really happy when I saw these. I was hoping they would sell for more and maybe I could get $10 each or something like that. But when I got them home and looked them up, they didn't really sell for a ton of money. I think they are beautiful though. And I hope somebody makes a lot of these very pretty outfits. Pure Profit sold these for $15. I think I may have gotten this cloisonne necklace as part of an auction lot. I can't remember. It could be from a thrift store. How beautiful is that? Cloisonne is where they put wire on metal and then they fill in the recessed areas with like a paste and they heat it up and they melt it down. That's what cloisonne is. I think it's a very, very beautiful technique. I believe it's been around for centuries and centuries. I love the colors. I love the pink, pink flowers, the green, the gold. It's a beautiful thing. Don't know where I got it. Don't know what I paid for it, but I'm sure this is a big profit that I made. In general, if I'm in a at a yard sale or in a thrift store, I will pay two or three dollars, maybe as high as five. So I'm sure I didn't pay more than that. I do think it may have been part of a lot. However, sold this for sixty eight dollars. I came very close to keeping this base. I got this in a thrift store. I think I paid two or three dollars for it. This is. The Girl with an Earring by Vermeer. I love the top of this, how it's irregular. It's not just straight across. Hopefully you could, yeah, you can see it right there. Isn't that nice? This is in fantastic condition. Great vase, looked like it had never been used. Paid two or three, like I said, sold this one for $30. I love Nolan Miller jewelry, and I also really love Lariat necklaces. I almost kept this one. This was part of an auction lot. So a Lariat necklace has no closure. It's just like one long piece, and then you can tie it however you want. It usually just sort of loops over if that, or folds over. So this is nice. It had its certificate of authenticity. It was new and unused, came with a pouch. And the box. Don't know what I paid for it because it was part of a lot, but sold it for $35. This is a lucky yard sale find. This is 14 karat gold, solid 14 karat gold. It's just a little thing, a charm or a pendant. It's marked MA, which stands for Michael Anthony. I think he sells his stuff on QVC, if I'm not mistaken. You kind of can't see it there, but it says MA. Copyright 87, and then it says 14K. I really like that the eyes and the nose are cut out. That's really super cute. And there's how big it is. I like to take pictures of jewelry on this little measurer mat. I think it's called a sewing mat. 0.44 grams, 14 karat gold, not bad. Probably uh, 
paid 50 cents for it or something like that. I think it was part of a large lot and there was quite a bit of gold in there too from a yard sale. Sold this one for 40. This was a yard sale find. This was from a few years ago though. I love this chevron design. Isn't that pretty? Sterling silver, 28 grams. It's in fantastic condition. Look at that pattern. Very nice that it has that little safety catch. There I'm showing how wide it is. Yeah, more than 28 grams. Wow, that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing indeed. Love it. Didn't pay much for it. Sold it for 50. I am not a big fan of selling items on eBay for less than $10 or $10 even for that matter. But I did make an exception because I got a huge stack. Well, maybe not a huge stack, maybe 10 or 15 of these tea towels or kitchen towels by Michelle Design Works. I got this at the same garage sale where I got the SPI brass items. And it was just kind of easy to list. And I think I had multiples of a few of them. So this is a stock photo. And there's what the item actually looked like. Completely in the money. Sold this one for $9. And here is another Michelle Design Works towel. I guess I didn't take a picture of the actual item. Anyway, new with tags, pure profit. Sold this one for $9 also. This bracelet is an extremely lucky find. I was in a thrift store and the lady knows that I like jewelry. So she handed me a bag, like a little plastic baggie with some junk jewelry in it. It was really junk. And I think she said, like, give me $10 or something for the whole bag. And I thought, well, maybe I can use some pieces or parts. I don't know. And then I spotted this little thing. This is 14 karat gold, solid 14 karat gold, 6.8 grams. And there's the mark. I'm showing it right there, 14K. I did test it as well. And seven inches long. Isn't that pretty? I love it. You have your shells, your fish, starfish, solid 14 karat gold. Didn't pay much for it. I took a best offer on this of uh, $275. Fantastic profit. And this bracelet was up for a lot more money on eBay too. So whoever got this got a bargain and I'm very, very happy with the profit I got. Obviously, it was a great thing. Just a lucky day. I shy away from selling clothes and shoes on eBay because I don't enjoy it and I don't know the name brands. But if I see something like this, which is from a tour, a concert tour, I buy it. And this one was pink from 2019, beautiful trauma tour, the world tour. Very, very cool hoodie. I paid $5 for this. I sold it for 40. It was in nice condition. It looked like it had been very gently handled. A friend of mine uh, who's my age actually just went to see pink and she said it was the best concert she ever saw in her life. She is very, very bad. Love me some pink. Nice profit on that too. Really cute hoodie. I wish it was my size. Would have kept it. I got this very cute Christmas tree pin at a yard sale sort of thing. It was in a parking lot at a church where all different People had tables with their stuff. Very high quality. I am in the money for sure from the sale. Um, I can't remember what I spent on the lot, but I made all my money back and then some on one piece. I think I maybe paid $26 or something like that for a bag of jewelry, but I think I sold one of the pieces for $200. So this is pure profit. This was in fantastic condition. I love Christmas jewelry. It always sells very well, but especially the better made pieces. This one was better made for sure. And I really like the that it's black. It's just something very, very cool about it. Sold this one for $20, pure profit. I picked up two packages of these valances by pennies. They're actually behind me. <laughs> I used 
one package of them myself on that large uh, picture window that we have in the front of our house. And then I sold the other one. There it is. I had a really a hard time capturing the true color of this. But people who want this, oh, there it is right there. That's on my, <laughs> that's on my window. People who want this would know exactly what it is because they would know that they want this coral is the name of the pattern and stuff. JC Penny Home. I like to sell curtains when I see them. I think that one, let me just look at what the original price was. I'm just curious. There's the label. It was called Corral Bishop's Valance, and it was $55 for the two. As I recall, I paid $5 each for these at the thrift store. So paid $5, sold this package for $40, and yeah, use the other package. Pretty cool. Majorca pearls are man-made pearls, but they are very, very high quality. It is a company based in Spain. This bracelet is killer. Look at the luster. Even experts have a hard time just looking to know that these are actually man-made and not the real deal. I love the finding. Look at the rhinestones. Also lovely that it came in this beautiful royal blue velvet box. This actually looked like it, it had never been worn. I'm showing there how wide it is. Isn't that gorgeous? Definitely looked like it had never been worn, but I don't know. I, I couldn't guarantee that. Part of an auction lot. Definitely not in the profit yet on that lot, I don't think. Sold this very, very beautiful man-made pearl bracelet by Majorca for $27. I think I got this necklace as part of an auction lot, but I think I am in the money on this lot. I have three of these necklaces. This is the second one I've sold. So this is Moon Glow Thermoset. That is still being made modern day. And that's what this is. And it's by Talbots. Talbots is a pretty pricey store. That's what the hang tag looks like. See it? Just a capital T. And what's going on? That That's weird. That photo's not showing. Anyway, <laughs> I was just showing the beads sort of close up. That's a beautiful item. I love Moonglow Thermoset. I love the old stuff, but I also really love the new Moonglow Thermoset. Didn't pay much for this. I think I'm in the money on this lot. I sold this necklace for $25. The next few items were bought by a friend of the channel. So thank you so very, very much for that. It is appreciated. This is a very cool item. So it's signed by a designer, Deb Gio, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's a spinner ring. I love spinner rings. They're just great for anxiety or just people who like to play with their jewelry like me. <laughs> this didn't fit me or else I would have kept it. So this had a retail price on HSN of $150. And this is a Herkimer diamond. It's not a diamond. It's a quartz, but they call them Herkimer diamonds or something special about these quartz stones that are found in Herkimer, New York. I have seen these before. I have sold these before. I have some of them. I think that may be naturally faceted too. Very, very interesting ring. Took a best offer on this. Sold it for $65. So that last ring and this necklace came as part of the same box lot from an auction. I am in the money on that box lot. This is sterling silver, smoky quartz, shaped like a heart. Isn't it a beautiful item? And it came in its original pouch, which is lovely. I love that toggle class. It's like a leopard print. And I like that it doesn't go in the back. I mean, it could if you wanted it to. But I would definitely wear that on the side because I would want that to show. That's just me. Also bought by a friend of the YouTube channel. Took a best offer on this necklace of, I think, $60. This bracelet was also bought by one of my YouTube friends. This was part of that same garage sale where I got the SPI brass stuff and the door knockers and the the all the stuff, the Michelle design work stuff. This is so cute. Interchangeable charm bracelet. And it's all mermaid stuff. Isn't that adorable? This was uh, new with its tag. 
in the profit for sure on all of those items. So this is pure profit sold this item for $12. Joe Maz Jewelry is very sought after. It's very high quality. It was a company that was founded by Joseph Mazur, and they just shortened it up to become Joe Maz. I got this butterfly in a thrift store. Some people might remember I was complaining because the, the woman working there was pulling stuff out of the box faster than I was and buying all the stuff, which uh, I didn't really appreciate. But anyway, I still ended up getting some awesome things, including this little pin. Sold this one for $45. I think I paid a dollar, maybe two for it. Look at this fun lot of earrings. These are definitely 1980s or 1980s style. I got these out of a jewelry jar. I have been buying these jewelry jars for $10. I have made some real money on a few of them. The last couple were kind of junky, but that's the chance you take. I think I took a best offer on this whole lot, I think, $15, pretty sure. Not bad for a $10 jewelry jar, and I'm sure I already made other money on that jewelry jar, so pure profit. I bought a huge lot of antique cufflinks about two summers ago at an auction. I paid $90 for the lot. There were some gold ones in there, just a couple, and some silver as well. I'm in the money on this whole lot. And I still have hundreds left. I have to get to those at some point. These are kind of cool. Initial cufflinks. Definitely from the 20s. Not signed by the maker. I'm sort of surprised about that. But there's what the size is. Silver tone. Not real silver. A little bit of mother of pearl. Sold that pair for 18 I got these bracelets at a few different yard sales. I bought one or two, and then I decided I would just wait till I had more and I would lot them all up. I love J. Crew stuff. Nice, high quality bangles. Let's take a look at the colors. They're very pretty. Wow, look at that. That's so nice. I like the big one too. They're in great condition. A lot of five, very summery. I'm sure I didn't pay more than a dollar each for those, if that. Sold that whole lot for 25. Here are some quilt blocks. These were by Joanne Fabric. These are very pretty. They're all different. See on the right, that says February Queen of Hearts. That's that square. And then there's a checkerboard heart. Corners of my heart. It's adorable. And then I had a fifth one. And I think I just included it for free. I did have a stack of these. I bought these in a thrift store. I think I might have paid $10 for the whole stack, but I already made all my money back and then some. So this is pure profit. Sold these for $15. I love buying quilting stuff. Always really a great seller for me. Here's an awesome pair of cufflinks from that same cufflink auction lot. These are incredible. Beautiful deco pattern. I love the purple. I'm not sure if you can really see that purple. It's great. So these are marked B and yeah, B and W, which stands for Bear and Wild. I've sold that before, sold that name brand before, patented in 1923, it says right there. And they say come apart too. That's very common. That's actually the name, like the patented name for the what would you call it? The mechanism of how they open and close. This, these were really some of the best ones I had. I loved these. Sold these. Best offer. Sold them for $40. I have a very, very large stack of these Tricam pictures. These are ready to paint. You have to put um, special paint on them, I think. I sold a lot of the paints, too. And this is cool. It looked like black velvet, but I think technically it was like felt. Look at the details in that. And there's the pattern too. That's nice to have with it. I love that. Look at the reflection. Cool item. I am in the money for sure on that whole stack that I have. Sold this one for $17. I got to get to those. Can't find the time. Got to try to find the time. Here's the last item for today. This is a fantastic vintage pipe. That is definitely all hand carved. 
I love his eyes. I think the eyes are glass. I don't think that pipe part came with it. Is that called a stem? I don't think that came with it. Uh, yeah, I write, I wrote it right there on the condition used. Excellent condition. Looks like the plastic stem is not original. Okay. Isn't that interesting? That's such an expressive face. Fantastic. I loved it. This one, my mother found at a yard sale several years ago. So I sold this one for her, took a best offer of $40. That's it for this time around, everybody. I'd like to thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you had fun looking at some of my eBay sales. Thanks again to anybody who bought any of my stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. Happy hunting, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one, okay? Cheers.